everyone. Thanks so much for tuning in today. I'm Julia Poulsen. I'm the manager of talent development at Indiana Constructors, Inc. And today my guest is Craig Pastor. He's the AVP underwriting um, at Chubb Surety. Thanks for joining me today, Craig. Yeah, thanks for having me, Julia. Um, if you want to go ahead and tell everyone a little bit more about your position um, and how long that you've worked for Chubb Surety. In my role, I'm kind of, I guess, a, a an assistant to the regional manager and an AVP role for our surety department within Chubb. So Chubb is a large, you now one of the largest publicly traded um, insurance companies in the world. And surety is just a little piece of it. It's kind of a niche player, um, a niche unit, a uh, business unit within the company. But I've been with Chubb Surety for almost six years. It'll be six years at the beginning of next year. Prior to that, I was in the surety industry with a competitor for about nine years. So all told, I'm coming up on about 15 years in the surety industry. We have a, around a dozen regional offices around the country to kind of cover a four or five state territory. So our regional office is, is headquartered in Cincinnati. Our home office is out in New Jersey, but our Cincinnati regional office covers Ohio, Kentucky, Indiana, West Virginia, and Western Pennsylvania. So we all kind of have, we have four underwriters on the team. Um, a regional director and myself and then two junior underwriters. So that's kind of the makeup. We're, we're a small little unit and a large insurance company. So it's a, it's a unique dynamic as to how that fits. But, you know, it's, it's, a, really, it's a really fun place to work, a great, great um, business, and it treated me very well. Awesome. Well, I honestly didn't know Chubb Surety was that large of a company. I knew it was big, but I didn't realize it was that large. <laughs> so that, that's, yeah, that's a very, yeah, very yeah. big company. So that's great um that you have a good team that you work with and you guys are able to get stuff done and with you kind of being in the midwest i guess um the whole working from home thing right now has probably served you guys well <laughs> yeah it has um so as an avp underwriting in your position um tell us a little bit more about your position and what you exactly do for chubb surety sure through agents and brokers throughout our kind of four and a half state territory, we partner with commercial construction companies and it runs the gamut from general contractors to heavy highway to road, bridge, um, subcontractors. And we partner with them through the agents that we, we work with to provide them surety bonds to support their projects. So on publicly funded project construction projects, that's uh, typically written into law that there needs to be a surety bond to back that project financially and to pre-qualify the contractors that are bidding on it. So that's a good chunk of kind of the, the projects we support for our customers, but we mm -hmm. also, um, for certain private projects, um, we also are sometimes the contractors required to, to provide a bond to support that project as well. So our job kind of, it morphs. I mean, we're, we're building relationships for the long term. Um, we underwrite projects specifically, you know, if it's a large project or something that's kind of outside the norm, We'll probably dive into that on a project by project basis. You know, it's just a lot of kind of it evolves from financial analysis to relationship building to technical underwriting of a project, going through contract terms and conditions, kind of understanding what our contractor clients are are engaging in and just being in, being sure that we're in line and able to support them so that when they go out and, and get a job and say, hey, we need a bond, you know, we're, we're ready and we're comfortable to, to you know, sign, have our agents sign that bond and provide it for them. And we're kind of in the background, but we want to make sure we're always, you know, being able to provide our customers with the surety support that they need. Yeah. And typically when um, someone who's not in our industry in highway construction, um, your little niche part of <laughs> it typically isn't something that um, an outsider would think of. So you're definitely in a unique side of highway construction, which is awesome to learn more about. So with it being unique and, you know, you're working for such a large company. So highway construction is just a piece of what Chubb Surety um, covers. Tell us how you got into the insurance surety side of highway construction and what keeps you there. Yeah, it's a good question. I, nobody knows what surety is until they get into it. <laughs> so it's, it's kind of funny when you talk to people in our industry, no one, you know, grew up dreaming to be a surety underwriter or yeah. studied in college. <laughs> um, everyone kind of has their unique uh, way they got to it. Typically, it's through someone that mm -hmm. they knew a business, you know, a mentor, a business partner that kind of brought them along. And that was kind of the case with me was 
I had a friend who his dad was an insurance agent in, in the Columbus, Ohio market. And he kind of stumbled across an opportunity. He was putting together a surety deal because surety and insurance are different, but they oftentimes will relationship wise will go somewhat hand in hand. Mm-hmm. So he was an insurance agent, but he had an opportunity to put a surety deal together for one of his customers and was talking to the sh- local surety manager. And they just kind of saying, Hey, we're looking to hire someone out of college. This was a long time ago and they were, they had a training program. And so long story short, he, he basically connected me. He said, Hey, this sounds like it's right up your alley. I don't know much about surety kind of did, a, you know, got my feet wet in this deal, but it sounds like it could be really interesting. Would you have an interest in interviewing or talking to these guys? So I did. And, you know, here I am almost 15 years later, <laughs> still, still doing it. And uh, it's really, it's really been a fun journey to kind of learn the industry. It takes a while. It's a lot mm-hmm. through nothing. You can just throw a textbook at someone and say, Hey, pass these tests and you're, you're good to go. That's um, for sure. <laughs> you know, like construction, you gotta have, you gotta learn on the job and you gotta be around in different situations and kind of go through the thought process and see people do it. And it just takes time to build relationships. So that's kind of the fun part is as you, as you get through different levels of your development, you know, you kind of feel more confident in being able to step out into new challenges. And Mm -hmm. the the most fun of our job is, um, you know, the relationship aspect and being Mm -hmm. around customers we meet, being able to just interact with them, learn about what they do, um, learn about, you know, what makes their company tick. And, you know, a lot of these are privately held family businesses. There's a lot mm-hmm. of pride and a lot of just hard work that has gone into building these, these organizations over time. And the people are very prideful to work for them. And it's just been a really cool ride to, you know, be mm-hmm. a kind of a financial geek, you know, <laughs> and not knowing anything about insurance 15 years ago. And then, you know, as you go through and you meet customers and, and you just, you learn enough, um, but it's just always every, every meeting I still go into and I'm just blown away about how some of our our customers or prospects, uh, how they run their business and just the stuff they do day in, day out. Cause construction is just the, such an amazing industry. It's just really mm-hmm. fun to be a part of in our own little, little way. So you mentioned earlier that before you joined the team at Chubb Surety, you worked for a competitor. Um, so looking back six years ago, when you joined, um, the team at Chubb Surety, can you remember anything that stood out to you that made you want to join the team, the team at Chubb Surety, or in other words, what made you want to change companies and work for Chubb Surety? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, I think at the time it was just, it felt like, so I had a pre-existing, Surety's a very small little tight knit industry. So everyone tends Mm -hmm. to know everybody, at least in the local level. So I had known my now boss, I had developed a relationship over with him over years, um, just in industry events. And uh, when he gave me the call to say, hey, would we have a a position, a senior position that opened up, you know, I thought you first, would you be interested? And um, I was like, you got my wheels turning. I was certainly not looking (laughs) to leave my existing company. I I was very happy there and had built a lot of good relationships and, you know, had learned the business in that company. So, um, but really the thing that I think kind of set me in the direction of having those conversations and eventually taking that position was just, knowing his, the quality of him as a leader and his character really mm-hmm. was something that drew me to, Hey, this would be someone I'd love to work for. He told me about, you know, the, what the company stood for. Um, you know, it's been, in, we've written surety um, Chubb has for over 130 years. So it's a long standing oh, wow. player in the market. It's, it's, it's <laughs> just uh, Chubb in, in the surety market is definitely synonymous with quality stability, um, character, reputation. So, you know, knowing from the outside what Chubb represented and then meeting my now boss and hearing him speak to more, he's been with the company for over 35 years. So those are a lot of green flags to tell you, okay, this seems like a good fit. And then understanding the the ability for me to kind of jump into a role that was a little more senior than what I had been doing at my previous company. And just taking that progression, I just felt all the kind of all the stars aligned for me to make that mm-hmm. feel like it was the right company at the right time and the right people on the other end. And um, fortunately it's, it's all worked out. <laughs> yeah. And that's really telling about Chubb Shirty when you mentioned, you know, for being an outsider of the company, kind of knowing just being in the industry, what Chubb Shirty stands for. And then you actually like 
get into a meeting with someone who's been there for so long and what they say is what you kind of already knew before is very right. about the culture and everything at Chubb Surety. So that is wonderful to hear um, about Chubb Surety. So now I'd like to kind of switch gears and get to learn a little bit more about you. So at Chubb Surety as AVP underwriting what you do, can you explain what your typical day-to-day -day is like? And I know right now it's kind of different because we're all <laughs> yeah. from home because of the pandemic. Yeah, um, I think the, you know, the, the one of the things I like about this job is that it does change every, mm -hmm. you know, the days are different. And, um, you know, some days I could be diving into, you know, financial analysis and looking at financial statements and whips. And other days I could be, you know, like earlier or last week, I was able to go out to a job site and visit one of our contractors and see what they're doing on one of their largest projects they've ever done. Sometimes I'm looking at contracts, sometimes I'm marketing. Um, so I think it, you know, it just depends in the pandemic, obviously it's very different, mm -hmm. but um, yeah. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. the variability of being able to not only, you know, dive into the numbers and kind of fulfill that part of my brain that loves, you know, numbers and analysis, but also meeting mm -hmm. people, talking to people, learning about what they do that balance and that variety is is great because it really challenges you mm -hmm. to you know extend your your skill set too i mean you know i can't say that i was always real comfortable walking into a room of people that were mostly <laughs> older than me and just you know having a cocktail hour or doing something like that but that really stretched me socially was not an accounting major i was an economics major and okay. um so i knew enough to be dangerous with numbers but like yeah you know, really learning the technical part of accounting and what goes into, especially when it comes to construction, because it's such mm -hmm. a unique industry and with heavy highway road contractors, it's even more so unique. Mm -hmm. So understanding what, you know, what makes a good company tick and, you mm -hmm. know, how they have to manage their business from a financial standpoint it really is, makes it fun. I don't know. There's just no typical yeah. day, which is great. <laughs> and that's, that's one of the things that I think has kept me so engaged in my role, mm -hmm. you know, in, in this industry for well over a decade now. And I feel like that anytime I ask someone, no matter what position that they hold at whatever company they're at in highway construction, whether they're out in the field or they're in the office or they're out about meeting with people consistently, everyone always says their day to day is not the same. So that's one thing I love about our industry because it does, if it's the same every day that kind of gets a little mundane and people are like, bah, and kind of get over it. But yeah. our industry, when your day isn't the same, like you mentioned, it challenges you and it keeps you engaged more. So I'm glad that that is continuing, like the continuous answer I get from people. Um, Cause it makes, it makes it interesting. It makes it fun. I know you mentioned earlier, one of like your favorite parts of your position at Chubb Surety is the relationship building aspect of your job. What can you say would be like what currently is or what has been the most rewarding part of your job and working in the industry and who knows it may be the same yeah there, there's been a lot of rewarding parts kind of reflecting on it um, mm -hmm. i would say rewarding in this stage in the last several years of my career has been being able to now get to a point in my career where i can kind of pay it forward and start mentoring mm -hmm. some of the younger folks in our organization and seeing their brain start to click when it comes mm -hmm. because it does take a while to understand what we do oh and, yeah and it's just this constant evolution of of learning more and more you get to these stages where you feel like okay i kind of understand i mean it took me a year to almost understand what a surety bond was <laughs> so you know it takes time and it's mm -hmm. not that it's super complex or anything it's just it's yeah. not conventional and it's not something you've ever been exposed to most people haven't so Mm -hmm. um, to have that consistent ability to bring people along in their career development has been really rewarding in these last several or so years where I've had that opportunity. And then, you know, again, relationships, that's internal relationships, but then external mm -hmm. relationships. Um, it's just so rewarding as, you know, I, when I changed companies five plus years ago, you're somewhat starting over because you have mm -hmm. new customers you're working with. But, you know, we have the same relationships with our agents that we, you know, put a lot of um, stock in to be able to provide new business opportunities for us. So those relationships that I've maintained, building new relationships with new customers on the construction end is always rewarding because you just, you're always so impressed with the way that, you know, those people in the construction industry, business owners, leaders, all the stuff 
everything they put on the line every day and the people mm -hmm. that they work for or that work for them and you know just the hard work and it, it is truly one of the core businesses of our you know of our country mm -hmm. and to see that play out and to meet these people hear their stories is always such a rewarding piece and it gives you mm -hmm. gives you confidence because there's so much negative oh, stuff yeah. in the news and out in the world today <laughs> And it kind of gives me that grounding of, hey, there's a lot of really good people out there working mm -hmm. hard, doing the right thing, providing for families. And it's that's a really rewarding part of the business when you look externally. So that's mm -hmm. probably the, the most the most rewarding, I would say, if I look back on the, the whole of my career. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's pretty cool, too. Um, and I catch myself doing what my dad did when I was younger, you know, taking detours on our way home places just to check out a project that he was a part of. And I catch myself still doing that. If I'm in an area, I'm like, oh, this is like a bridge that my dad was a part of. But even if I drive past a job site, I always catch myself like trying to see what company's out there. Um, but when you drive past that, it, it, you know, it's a sense of pride that even if it's not a project that you had direct connection with, it's still something that's being done in your industry. Um, and just seeing like parts of your community um, being built is really, really great. Um, to be able to see that in person. And it's cool that, you know, with the clients and customers that you have, you actually physically get to go out on projects and yeah. people who aren't in the industry, you know, I, I feel like when they're learning about the industry, um, they don't really understand the feeling when you get on a job site and actually get to see something um, being done that you're a part of. Um, yeah, it's been I, really, sorry, I'm just, to that no, point, fine, I was just going to say, head. like, <laughs> I mean, some of the most rewarding, like, thinking about, too, some of the most, the, the things that jump out to me have been the times we've been out on a job site, or yeah. spent time on a job site with our customers, you know, I've been able to get on a, on a paving machine, I've been able to get on, oh, that's awesome. you know, <laughs> up in a crane, uh, or not in the, in the tower yeah. crane, but, you know, <laughs> like, up in a, on a catwalk, or just to mm -hmm. see various pieces of a job and these are things that I would never have the opportunity to see nor learn mm -hmm. um, without you know our connection to so we're just kind of the same thing you know I, I never drive by a job site now without like looking to see who's, what's Try going on who's out there <laughs> yeah <laughs> so but it's 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 really fun to like feel that you do have in some way a small piece of all this stuff that's you know building our communities um, mm -hmm. It's it's really you know that's with if it was just numbers on a screen and that's all I did all day I, I don't think it would feel very impactful but yeah you know you're able to when you're a part of a team that you know you're treated as a business partner to our construction customers that are building and doing these great and amazing things it's um, it's really cool to be a part of that in some little way oh for sure um, but as you know working at Chubb Surety and AVP underwriting what would you say is the number one skill set that you would need to have to succeed if you're telling someone about it up there at the, on the top would be time management um mm -hmm. you know because we do have a lot of different pieces to our job in terms of not just you know the in-house analysis but then the outwork or the outward um marketing skill set and then kind of learning new things and it's just the ability to juggle different elements of the job and mm -hmm. you know be as good as you can at each one because no two days are going to look the same yeah um, there's going to be things that are going to require you to stretch yourself maybe go on a marketing visit and make a call to an agent that you've never met before and and so you have to be able to get out there and kind of be a little bit of a self-starter when it comes to that but then you mm -hmm. also be still need to be able to hunker down and you know, analyze a financial statement and a whip schedule mm -hmm. for a few hours. You know, that's that's sometimes part of the job too. So, mm -hmm. I think it, it's just managing that ver variety of the job and trying to be as effective and efficient as you can would be certainly something that you kind of have to develop over time and figure mm -hmm. out. It's tough in a pandemic when you got young oh. kids running around the house and, <laughs> and oh, screaming sure. and you're getting on a call. But yeah, that's yeah. that's a big, <laughs> a big one. Yeah. So thinking about um, when you were younger and looking at how successful you've become in your adult life. Um, is there any advice that you can think of that maybe you would have given your younger self that would have helped you in your current role at Chubb Charity? Yeah, uh, a lot of advice probably thinking <laughs> back on it, but um, one, one big one would just be not be timid in, in raising mm -hmm. your hand or taking risks to get on that new project or to go out and, you know, make that marketing call or ask your boss to 
hey, can I take this account and try my best to do something with a write-up? Anything that involves just getting out of playing, being not so much defensive, because you're absorbing so much, oh, but you yeah. do need to step out and try to say, hey, I'm really interested in this. Like, can I go out there and do this? And you can tell me if I'm not able to or if I'm doing this mm -hmm. totally wrong, but you know, taking those steps toward trying to grow areas proactively, it not only helps you, but it, it obviously shows well to the people that are leading you that, that you're, you're willing to make those um, steps on your own and, and you're not having to be, you know, spoon fed everything that you're learning, which mm -hmm. is, is tough. Again, you're, be, you're, you're kind of absorbing a lot of things that you're totally unfamiliar with, but if you can just continually look for opportunities to step out of your comfort zone. That's always mm -hmm. um, something I think it'll serve you well. It gets you more used to that as kind of as you get older, because it is easy to always kind of settle back into what you're what you're used to or what you're good at. Um, if you happen to have, you know, be in a position where you were talking to the students about what you do at Chubb Surety in highway construction or just about the industry in general, what would you tell them as to why they should choose a career in highway construction and like what advice would you give them about choosing that career path yeah well i probably wouldn't start by telling them about surety because that would bore them <laughs> and make them immediately probably run the other way but um but yeah the construction industry the highway construction industry in particular um i would advise them that hey here is a really exciting industry i mean just looking at the machinery the equipment that's that you know i don't think any kid would not be excited i have yeah. a five-year-old son and he loves that stuff so mm -hmm. kind of continuing to spark that interest is something i want to continue to do whether he goes into the highway trade or some other uh, technical mm -hmm. trade or whatever it may be the big thing is talking about the excitement of going out on a job site working with big equipment and doing something that you, at the end of the day you can look and say i built this right that's a really mm -hmm. cool thing that not a lot of us in white collar jobs get to do yeah and then um obviously construction is something that is going to be around for the, the longevity of human existence yep. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's like you have uh, roads, you have bridges, I mean, buildings. Uh, as, as long as people are on this earth, there's always gonna be a need mm -hmm. for structures, infrastructure, and things to allow people to travel or live. So, you know, that is one piece of the industry that I think is even more so important now is that you're understanding, hey, long-term, I'm always gonna have an opportunity. If I learn these skills now mm -hmm. and I'm willing to work hard, there's always going to be an opportunity. Your job's never going to get outsourced or over put overseas. You know, you're always going to have a, a boots on the ground job available and it's, yes. it's going to be a really rewarding career. I've never, I have not talked to any of customer or people I've met in this industry on the construction side that have ever regretted making that decision. So that tells you one thing, but then yeah. just the pride they have in that, thinking back all the stuff all the projects they've built and the and the people they've worked with it's it's um you know there's so much pride in the industry and so that tells you right there hey when you get it like when you get in this it is something that you'll be able to achieve but also have a long rewarding career and that i think is it sells itself i always tell when anytime i'm talking to students about career opportunities in our industry i always tell them if you choose to find an opportunity in our industry, you're not just getting a job, you're choosing a career path. No matter where you start, there's so much opportunity for growth and there's so many people that you learn, that you meet and learn things from along the way um, that opens up doors for you. So I would agree 100% wholeheartedly with what you just said. Um, but thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to share about Chubb Surety all things about them, all things about you, how you got to where you are today. Um, I really appreciate it. And I can't wait for this conversation to be shared with people. Yeah, thanks a lot, Julia. I appreciate it. It was great talking with you.